An inverter charger is an electrical component that serves two purposes. Number one, converting DC power stored in a battery bank into AC power to be used by standard household devices. And number two, using AC power from the electrical grid or a generator to charge the battery bank. Victron currently has 12 different types of inverter chargers listed on their website, each one with a bunch of different variations to total, at the time of shooting this video, 74 different inverter chargers. Now, I made a flow chart of some of the considerations for which one is best for your needs, and in this video, we're going to break down the Victron inverter charger line of products so you better understand your options and what is actually available. Now, it's important to know that Victron is always adding new inverter chargers and all of the availability that I'm going to talk about in this video is only up to date as of April 14th, 2023, when we recorded this video. So disclaimers out of the way, let's get started. First, let's talk about how to decipher the numbers listed on the front of all of the units. Let's check out the multiplus here. On the front, it says 24, 3070, which means that the inverter is a 24 volt inverter that needs to be powered by a 24 volt battery bank. The 3000 is the output rating in terms of volt amps, and the 70 means that it can charge at a maximum of 70 amps at 24 volts DC. On the other side of the multiplus, it says that this is a 230 volt inverter for all of you on a 230 volt power grid. Now we can scroll down a bit to the data sheets and click on whichever of these we're interested in, the 120 volt version or the 230 volt version. Now I'm gonna click on the 120 volt version since I'm personally located in the USA where we have a 120 volt power grid. Now remember how the MultiPlus we talked about has a rated output of 3000 volt amps? Well, Victron uses the volt amp rating rather than the wattage output rating simply because it's more accurate. With an inverter, the wattage output can change based on the type of load that it's powering based on its power factor or if the load is inductive or resistive. Now, this is a topic for a different video though. The wattage output can also change depending on the temperature of the inverter. As it gets hotter, the output decreases. And you can actually see the rated wattage output for each of these inverter chargers right here. So that's the crash course in how volt amps relates to wattage output. Now it's pretty safe to say that the wattage output of these inverters is about 80 to 90% of the rated volt amps at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now that we know how to read the most important electrical characteristics of each inverter charger, let's move on to the features of the specific units. We have the Easy Plus, the Easy Solar, the Quattro, both 1 and 2, the Easy Solar 2GX, the Multi RS Solar, and the Multi Plus, the Multi Plus, the Multi Plus 2000 VA, the Multi Plus 2, the Multi Plus 2 2X120, and the Multi Plus 2 GX. Let's go in that order and keep the Multi Plus units for last, since their naming structure is the most confusing. The Easy Plus is a 1600 volt amp inverter charger that has AC distribution built in. It has an AC input and main output breaker, as well as breakers for four branch circuits one of which is only powered when connected to grid power or generator power. The Easy Plus is only compatible with the 230 volt power grid, so it's really not going to work for those of us on a 120 volt power grid. Now inverter chargers with built-in solar charge controllers. The Easy Solar, the Easy Solar 2 GX, and the Multi RS Solar are all Victron inverter chargers that have a built-in solar charge controller. The Multi RS Solar is the largest of the three with 6,000 volt amp output. The Easy Solar 2 GX is the next largest with 3,000 and 5,000 volt amp output versions. The Easy Solar 2 GX also has built in advanced system monitoring features, 
like you'd find in other Victron GX devices like the Servo GX. The Easy Solar is the smallest of the three units with 1600 volt amp output and it has built-in AC distribution like the Easy Plus we talked about earlier. For solar array capacity, you can find the built-in solar charge controller size printed in the data sheet for each component or printed directly on the front of the unit. Now, all three of those inverter chargers with built-in solar charge controllers are available in 230 volt versions only, so they're not going to be compatible for those of us on the 120 volt power grid. The Quattro and Quattro 2 are Victron's most powerful inverter chargers going all the way up to 15,000 volt amps in the 240 volt versions and 10,000 volt amps for the 120 volt versions. They are both available in a wide variety of battery bank voltages depending on their volt amp output. And you can check those out in the data sheets on each of their product pages. Now at the time of recording, the Quattro is available in both 120 and 230 volt versions and the Quattro 2 is only available in a 230 volt version. Now, aside from being just generally more powerful, the Quattros have two AC inputs and a built-in AC input transfer switch to allow for connecting to, say, the electrical grid on AC input number one and a backup generator on AC input number two. All the other inverter chargers on this page would require an external transfer switch to utilize that functionality. The MultiPlus line of inverter chargers is actually the most simple, but the naming structure is the most confusing. So let's try to clear it up. At its core, the Victron MultiPlus is just an inverter charger. It only has one AC input, unlike the Quattros. It doesn't have a built-in solar charge controller like the Multi-RS, the Easy Solar, or the Easy Solar 2 GX and it doesn't have built-in AC distribution like the Easy Plus or the Easy Solar. So what are the differences between the MultiPluses we see here? Let's start with the easiest ones, which are the MultiPlus 2 GX and the MultiPlus 2 2X120. The MultiPlus 2 GX is a MultiPlus with built-in advanced system monitoring features like you'd find in other Victron GX devices like the Servo GX. The MultiPlus 2 GX is only available though currently in a 230 volt version as of making this video. The MultiPlus 2 2X120 is a MultiPlus that was designed specifically for RVs in the North American market that come from the factory with 50 amp shore power. 50 amp shore power is 120, 240 volt split phase, which has two hot legs, L1, L2, a neutral, and a ground, where the L1 and L2 is sometimes bridged with a dog bone adapter if you are at a campground with only single phase 30 amp shore power available. For this reason, the MultiPlus 2 2X120 is the absolute answer if you have an RV with 50 amp shore power from the factory, as all the other inverter chargers on this page only have inputs for three AC input wires, hot, neutral, and ground. This means that if you were to use a non 2X120 MultiPlus or Quattro for 120, 240 volt split phase input, you would be forced into using two inverters, which is fine for some, but is overkill for most. The remaining MultiPluses are the most simple in functionality and are simply inverter chargers. No built-in advanced monitoring and no extra considerations to split phase input. These are by far the most popular ones we see in use here at Explorers Life and sell in our shop. And remember that just because they are the simplest of all the inverter chargers that we've talked about doesn't mean that they aren't packed to the gills with awesome features and programming options. Now, there are two MultiPlus products on this page. Let's click into this one and scroll down to the data sheets, starting with the 120 volt version. The 3000 volt amp MultiPlus is a MultiPlus, and the 2000 volt amp version is a MultiPlus Compact. The MultiPlus Compact isn't necessarily smaller though, as it is taller and thinner. The dimensions are on the data sheet, but the images up here are actually pretty close to scale for how much taller the MultiPlus Compact is. 
Now, if we go back over to the MultiPlus 230 volt version, we can see that there are a lot more options for our friends with 230 volt grid power. And each of the products with the C next to it is the compact version. Knowing that, check out the MultiPlus here, labeled MultiPlus 500 VA through 1600 VA. These are the new MultiPluses that will be replacing the MultiPlus Compact line that we just talked about. Old MultiPlus Compact versus new MultiPlus. There's not a huge difference between the two in terms of capacity and capability, but there is an upgrade in form factor. At this time, the MultiPlus, sized 1600 volt amps and smaller, is only available to those with 230 volt grid power, and the 2 and 3000 volt amp versions are super popular for those of us with 120 volt grid power, and specifically here in the USA. Now, the MultiPlus 2 is essentially the same thing as the MultiPlus, being available in larger sizes available in a 3000 volt amp version for those of us with 120 volt grid power and available in sizes up to a massive 15,000 volt amps for those of you with 230 volt power. The MultiPlus 2 is intended to be the upgrade over the old MultiPlus, but both the old and the new versions are still perfectly wonderful components. Now, there are some electrical and physical differences between the MultiPlus and the MultiPlus 2 that Guy Stewart, the Victron Community Manager, outlines on the Victron Community Forum. The MultiPlus 2 has all of the features of the multigrid with built-in anti-islanding and an increasingly long list of country approvals, which is great for those of you who may be grid-tied, but that doesn't really matter a whole lot for those of us with mobile applications. The MultiPlus 2 has a steel casing versus aluminum. It uses more up-to-date and efficient circuitry. It uses a large single transformer rather than two small ones, resulting in slightly decreased surge power ratings, but increased efficiency. And all of those reasons means that the unit is actually physically smaller and therefore actually costs a bit less. And I'll leave a link to this particular thread in the video description below. Now, last on the list is the MultiPlus 2000 volt amp, which is not a MultiPlus 2, nor is it the MultiPlus Compact 2000. This MultiPlus 2000 definitely looks more like the MultiPlus 2, but if we click into the data sheet, we can actually see that it's more closely related to the new MultiPlus. Make sense? Perfectly not confusing. Now, two additional thoughts about all of these inverter chargers. Most of these units can be set up to have multiple inverter chargers in the same system for increased power output or a different flavor of power output like split phase or three phase. And although the GX enabled inverter chargers have GX functionality built in, all of these units can be connected to an external GX device like the Servo GX for the same functionality. Now, there was a lot of info there. And if you're one of the six people who are still watching this video, um, Thanks. My dad used to always say, spare me the labor and just give me the baby. And if that's how you're feeling, I have quite a few different systems all diagrammed out and ready to go with their appropriate inverter chargers over at explorers.life slash solar wiring diagrams, as well as full wiring kits based off of those diagrams available in our shop. Now, I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.